So you may still be asking yourself, what's the perfect gift for mom? Well, if you love detailing and you love your mom, you'll know that she'll love a freshly detailed car. So that's what we're gonna be talking over today. We're gonna be showing you guys how to go ahead and detail your car, make it look good, make her appreciate it, and show her that she's appreciated and being that special person in your life. So first things first, the wash. Now today we're going to be washing our vehicle with citrus washing gloss. Now the reason we chose this soap is because citrus washing gloss works out great for heavy grime and enhancing a nice high gloss detailed look even without having to wax or polish the paint. So if your mom's car has not been detailed, you have not detailed it in a while or maybe she hasn't detailed it in a while because she's too busy being a mom, this is a perfect soap for her. So we're going to be utilizing this soap to like I said, knock down any kind of heavy grime and enhancing that high gloss shine. Also, we're gonna be using it with our two bucket method here and our chenille wash mitt. Like I said, we're gonna be utilizing our two bucket wash method. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of set these down for a bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, the two bucket wash method consists of two dirt traps. So these go at the bottom of your bucket and these act as a filtration system for your buckets and your rinse and soap solution so that you don't install any scratches and swirls on mom's car. We're also gonna be using our Torqued Foam Blaster 6. Now, you know, Having a pressure washer, a foam cannon, you know, it can be kind of tedious with all these hoses and fittings and everything. So we thought we'd kind of keep it simple today and use our Torque Foam Blaster 6. Now, this is great because it connects to your standard garden hose. So you, like I said, you don't need nothing fancy. Just plug it into your garden hose and you're good to go. So what you want to do, fill this up with water. We already filled it up with water. I'm gonna set that right there in the middle. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. Get your citrus washing gloss and you only want to put about an ounce, two ounces, depending on the filth of the vehicle. For this vehicle, I think one ounce is more than enough. So that's equivalent to one good squirt and we're good to go. So I'll close that up. I'll put my foam blaster nozzle on the top, twist it shut. And then with this right here, all you want to do is stir it. Don't shake it because you don't want it to foam inside. Plug it into your garden hose gun, which is already connected to my garden hose and you're good to start foaming. Now that you're ready to start foaming, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and dedicate one of these buckets to your soap bucket. So I'm gonna dedicate the one with the blue dirt trap as my soap bucket. So I'm just gonna give it one good squirt and we're good to go. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and get my wash mitt. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk that into there. Oh, I overfilled the bucket there, it's okay. Then, you know, it's kind of redundant that I plugged it in, but I got too excited. But now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect that, stick our hose into the soap bucket to go ahead and foam up and activate our solution. So now that our solution is all foamed up and lubricated, now we're gonna go ahead and give the car a pre-rinse to knock off any kind of loose dirt and debris and continue with the wash process. All right guys, so now that the car is all rinsed up, now we're gonna go ahead and connect our foam blaster. Now this is a quick connect, so all you gotta do is pull it back, push it in, snap it in, you're good to go. Now this dial on top actually lets you control the soap level. So if you want the max foam possible, throw it on five. If you wanna wash multiple cars and you don't wanna kill through one whole bottle just to go ahead and foam up your car once, I would recommend going on the three or even two setting and this would allow more water instead of a soap kind of ratio. So in essence, you'd get more of a sudsy kind of soap instead of more of a thick foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on five again and let's start foaming. All right, so now that we've finished foaming the car, now it's time to proceed with our contact wash. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my chenille wash mitt here that's in my soap bucket. And as always, get it nice and saturated with some soap. And we're gonna start at the top of the car. Remember as always, straight motions. You don't wanna mimic a circular motion because if anything gets caught on your, your wash mitt, you can potentially start scratching up the paint. So like I said, we're trying to detail mom's car. We're not trying to scratch mom's car. So up and down, left to right, whichever motion you like, as long as it's straight, you're good to go. I'll proceed with doing the rest of the vehicle. Once we're done with the vehicle, we're gonna go to rinse it off and show you guys the drying process. All 
All right guys, so now that we've done a nice area, we did the roof, the half of the front windshield and half of the hood, we're gonna go to our rinse bucket here. Like I said, we have our dirt traps in here, so we're gonna go ahead and push our wash mitt towards the bottom, and we're gonna go ahead and kind of give it a scrub. Now the dirt trap does kind of have like some ridges on it, so that kind of helps knock off any kind of dirt debris that gets stuck in your wash mitt. Exfoliates it. It's nice and clean, and it's ready for us to go ahead and get it back into our soap bucket and get back on our car. So I usually like to kind of wring it out real good. And then like I said, come back to my soap bucket here, get some nice suds going on, some nice thick suds right there. And then I'll come back to the hood or the second half of the roof. I remember straight lines. I know I'm kind of going front to back now, but like I said, it doesn't matter as long as you're going in straight motions. So go ahead and get half of that roof done. We've already done the other half. I'll do the front windshield now. Like I said, this car right here, it's not so dirty. It only had like a light layer of grime, which, you know, citrus washing loss will go ahead and take care of no problem. And then once you get towards like a hood, you can also flip your wash mitt and do use the other side. So use the other side of your wash mitt, go up and down. Like I said, straight motions does it. Don't mimic a circular motion. Back to our rinse bucket, do the same rinse process. Soap back to the car. We're gonna go ahead and proceed with doing the rest of the vehicle and we'll be back once it's done. All right, so now that we're done rinsing the car, now we're gonna proceed to drying it. My towel of choice today is going to be the Miracle Dryer. Now, the reason I love this towel is because it's lightweight, though it's super plush and super soft. So it's gonna soak up all the water that's on the vehicle and it's nice and lightweight so I can go ahead and quickly dry this entire small little vehicle in a matter of minutes. All right guys, so now we're in the interior. I see that there's a lot of dirt. There's a lot of fine hairs. You know, you have a lot of debris that's on the carpet and the floor mats. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and vacuum the interior of the vehicle. And then we're gonna come back once it's all vacuumed so that we can show you guys the next steps and detailing the interior of this vehicle. So now that we're done vacuuming the carpets and the upholstery, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a coat of FabriGuard. Now FabriGuard is an excellent product for a mom's vehicle, especially if you have kids in the vehicle, simply because this is a water repellent on fabric. So what this is gonna go ahead and do, it's gonna layer a shield of protection on any kind of fabric and upholstery in your interior so that any kind of water, juices, you know, stuff like that doesn't stain the actual surface of your fabric so that you have time to go ahead and scoop it right up with a microfiber towel or you know just repel it in general so that it doesn't leave any kind of nasty stains so this is very easy to use all you want to do is shake it up give it a good shake so that the product mixes well remember this is a sealant based property so you want to make sure that the product mixes nicely and then all you want to do is on a on a clean you know surface on a clean fabric material all you want to do is do a light coat do a light coat that's more than enough and now I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for 20 minutes. And then in another 20 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and come back and apply a secondary coat, let that dry, and you're good to go. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and head off to our next step, which is cleaning the interior with Interclean. Now, something that I love using, especially when you're working on a vehicle that has tons of surfaces, you know, here on this car, you know, you have your steering wheel, 
you have some plastic, you have some vinyl, you have a navigation screen, you have a lot of sensitive, you know, buttons and shift knob and e-brake. So you have a lot of these surfaces that you're working on. Like I said, one product that I love using is Interclean. Interclean works out great because it's going to go ahead and clean and enhance these surfaces from any kind of light dust, debris, fingerprints, oils, body oils, you know, stuff like that. Stuff you would find in your typical mom's car, you know, crumbs, food, you know, stains, whatever it is, you know, Interclean is going to be there for you. This is going to work out great to go ahead and clean it in one single step and using a few microfiber towels. All you want to do and how you use it is simply spray some on a towel. I love spraying it on a towel because it lets me be in control of the product. So some of the key areas that I'm going to focus on are the stuff that you look at when you drive. So such as your dashboard. So we're going to go ahead and wipe out the dashboard. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but you have a lot of like fine dust. You have like what seems to look like she has a, you know, a dog or a cat, who knows, or maybe just some very hairy kids, <laughs> who knows, but like I said, this is going to go ahead and pick up all that dirt, grime, debris, and you can also use this on your steering wheel, your, you know, a lot of the high traffic areas such as, you know, your windshield wipers, your blinker, your steering wheel, any kind of buttons on your steering wheel. So this is going to go ahead and clean it and enhance it. Interclean does kind of leave a light sheen to your interior surfaces. It doesn't leave like a nasty kind of like very greasy wet look. It honestly leaves like a nice sheen kind of brand new car look. And that's one of the reasons why I love Interclean and why I highly recommend that you guys use it to wipe down your interior. Like I said, I just cleaned the dashboard. I cleaned all this area of the steering wheel. Now I'm going to proceed to, you know, the other areas right here, such as the navigation screen. You go ahead and use it to wipe that surface, your buttons, of course, and any kind of other areas such as your start and stop button, your shift knob area. You know, always make sure to get in the details right here with your towels. You, know, you can also use these products with their on the details brush set for the interior, which works out amazing to get all the dust and stuff out of the cracks. But like I said, Interclean is going to work out great to just give it a simple wipe down. Like I said, if we want her to go the full, you know, eight miles, we can. We can go ahead and pretty much pull out the nonsense and the fabric clean and all that good stuff and clean the carpets. But we're trying to keep it simple for you guys. Something just so you guys can go ahead and do for your own your own mom's vehicle. We got some chips right there. We're going to go ahead and put those away. And I'm just going to make sure that we clean all the areas as we can. You can always spray some more. Clean your cup holder areas. Like I said, this works out great for all these types of surfaces. And especially your armrest right here. Because your armrest is pretty much, you know, where she's going to be setting her arm. So all this area right here collects a lot of body oils that you want to make sure that you clean up because then it leaves a nasty greasy look and it also leaves the body oils as well you know especially if you're a very cautious driver you want to make sure that all of your interior surfaces are oil free so that you're not slipping and sliding all over the place and it makes it look a lot more presentable a lot more clean you can flip it to a dry side buff off any excess and boom looks nice and new an oem look and did I mention that this product has a beautiful pina colada scent? So if your mom loves pina coladas, she's gonna love Interclean. All right guys, so now that we're done detailing the interior, it's nice and clean, but it's missing something. It's missing a kick of a fresh air freshener. And today's choice is gonna be mom's pound cake. What better way to commemorate Mother's Day than spraying some mom's pound cake in your interior? Now, I love this air freshener because it has a fresh vanilla citrus scent. So it gives a nice clean and a sweet scent. So if you're a big fan of that kind of bittersweet kind of smell, this is a perfect air freshener for you. Now I'm going to show you guys how to maximize your efficiency, smell, and longevity of your air freshener by just using a few simple steps. Step one, open your sprayer. Step two, we're going to go ahead and turn on the vehicle. Now. We're going to go ahead and turn on our AC. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw that up on max. We're going to go ahead and throw it on recirculation. And, you know, we're going to go ahead and throw it on cold just because it's kind of a warm day. So now that we have that going on, what that means is that it's circulating air from the bottom of your car and recirculating it throughout the rest of your vehicle. So instead of me going crazy, spraying it in every single surface, I'm going to go ahead and simply spray it at the bottom of my driver and passenger side seat and the AC system is going to do the rest. It's going to go ahead and circulate the air freshener throughout the car. So like I said, I'm not going in all parts of the vehicle going crazy spraying it. So like I said, simple sprays. All you got to do, spray two or three sprays per side. And that's going to go in and suck up that air and that air freshener and it's going to go ahead and kill out any kind of bacteria, 
germs that's in your AC system. Oh, it's already hitting me. It smells great. Now I'm gonna go to the driver's side to go ahead and just, you know, pretty much coat the entire vehicle. Three, that's more than enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let that kind of do its job. I usually leave the car running for a few minutes, you know, two, three minutes max. Let that kind of do its job. If you wanna sit in here and, you know, have and bask in that essence, then go ahead. If you don't, then just simply stand outside, let the car do its job and come back in two, three minutes and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the vehicle. You know, it's still recirculating that smell. You know, it smells great. That's gonna get annoying. All right, guys, so now we're done. You know, we've cleaned the entire vehicle. We washed the exterior. We went ahead and cleaned the interior. We wiped down the floor mats. We vacuumed the floor mats. We pretty much did the whole shebang as far as like a general nice detail that's gonna go ahead and make mom feel happy and appreciated. Like I said, we weren't going for perfection here. Obviously, if we were gonna pull out the big guns, we would've pulled out the foam cannon and the polisher and all that stuff, but this is just something simple that you can go ahead and do for your Mother's Day, you know, to show your mom your appreciation and gratitude towards her. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my mom's car next. So like I said, this was just a few things that you guys can do for mom. You know, you, can, you guys can do this from home. You know, it's a simple gift. A lot of you guys love detailing. Why not detail something that's gonna matter, like your mom, put a smile on her face show her that gratitude and love and support that she shows you as always if you guys like this video make sure to give us a thumbs up if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you guys are informed and updated on all of our newest videos and comment down below if you guys want to see us do anything else on our next video my name is joey this is chemical guys detail garage we'll see you guys next time Whoop.